Welcome back to another instalment of PB Busters. We got the cars packed and headed over to Legends Lake on a sunny Thursday evening. We last fished the venue on its opening night in August last year. With two nights ahead of us and some recent catch reports of some catfish, we were excited to get going. Well, it's uh, both rods in. Seen a fish show just behind the island, so there's no one fishing over there, so slung that straight on top of it, and then the right hand rod's gone in, just in this margin here. Jordan's setting up, it's first night on the bank. Waving that, and now uh, we're just waiting for Wayne Boy because he's uh, been a busy boy at work, so. He's going to need a beer when he gets here, but luckily we've got him on chill. So, time to get the bivvy set up and then uh, hopefully get into some fish. Here he is, fashionably late. He's beer chilling for you, mate. Huh? He's beer chilling for you. You look good, mate. You look top. Why? I'm stressed. <laughs> what time is it? Half seven. Half seven he's made it by. What are you doing, George? Hello, and welcome to Fresh Fishing. <laughs> and this is how not to put up a bivvy. <laughs> this is Jordan's new... We're going to do Pimp My Bivvy tomorrow with Jordan. Um, all this gear is brand spankers, because uh, he's obviously getting into specimen fishing, so I thought we'd come over and uh, we'll have, a laugh. have a laugh at him, basically. Have a laugh at him? Yeah. We'll have a laugh. And I do apologise for my outrageous nipplons. <laughs> How do you feel, Jordan? Calmed, relaxed. Do you feel like a proper fisherman? No, not until I catch a fish. <laughs> cool, calm and collected? Cool, calm and collected, mate. I'm in my shorts. I've got a nipple on. That's all life needs, isn't it? <laughs> all you need in life. What, a nipple and a fish? <laughs> Two nipples, a fish. Foxy's giggling already and I'm not... Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh, go on. No, 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 no. What do you think? Are you happy with it? Welcome. To the love shack. <laughs> I had to help him. Don't put that in. <laughs> Porn star. <laughs> Are you happy with your new bed? Very happy. <laughs> Very, very carpy. <laughs> I don't look carpy, but this is carpy. <laughs> right, so if you ever hear us say, um, we've done a Jordan cast, this is where we get it from. Jordan's just this about exactly, to do... This is exactly where it comes from. A Jordan cast, just basically plunk it in the middle. Anyway, my my sense behind this is if I bang it in the middle and it's got a couple of eight mils, everyone's going past. Good idea, mate. It. Watch this be the worst cast I've ever done. Plunk. Right, just thought I'd do a quick message. Uh, Wayne is just getting, as you can see, he's just getting the uh, the last rod of his set up. I've got this one out here. We need to put the pod up. Obviously my two are out. This session, obviously we're, we're on a double peg. I'll just uh, show you the bivvies. So there's Wayne, there's me. Yeah, so um, this session we're fishing a double peg. So same as last session at Waynestones, we're gonna fish as a team again. And because Wayne had the last one, he's kindly said that any of the four rods go, I can have 
of, of the first take basically. So uh, fingers crossed we can get into a couple and we can both come away with uh, a fish and then also hopefully Geordie boy can get into one as well. But um, timing, Sam. Yeah. Don't think we're. We, I did want to do a box tonight, but it's not going to happen. It's getting too dark, so we're going to have to do one tomorrow. But um, hopefully, we get into something tonight. We're going to. We've just ordered a takeaway. We're going to wait for that to come. Once that gets there, we'll have a few beers, have a takeaway, have a catch up, and uh, hopefully, get into some fish. What's yeah. happening with our takeaway? Well. We tried to get a takeaway to like make things make life easier. We probably would have been easier cooking. Yeah, it's his it takeaway really driver is. does not have a clue where he's going. Poor Jordan's gone to meet him. <laughs> so I just hope our food's warm. It probably won't be. It's going to be cold. Because I have it? issues <laughs> with cold food. It's going to be cold. Good. We'll get there. <sighs> why are you eating my chips? <laughs> Do you get extra chips? Yeah. Don't know why. Yeah, I want to. I'll have to find that one, Donna Rapp. I think I've got Donna Oh, did you get Donna Rapp as well? I think so. What, what's yours? It's plain. That's got chicken in it. I think. Huh? That's got a piece of chicken in it, I think. by accident. One bit. That's got solid. Do you just get a plain one as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. No garlic on, I think. I've got the garlic sauce here. Oh. Wow, getting that garlic sauce. It's like some greasy food, that. Oh baby. Look at that. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. I'm doing a night message now. Wayne's in his bivvy watching Naked Attraction. Great show. Um he can hear every single word I'm saying because we're so close to each other. I'm in mine now. Made a little brew. With my little brew station. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put something on my phone and have a watch or something, but we've literally only just got into the boobies, finished having a beer and a bit of a takeaway. After the nightmare of actually trying to get the takeaway delivered here, but we got there in the end. Nothing happened on the fish in front yet. Got four rods out, as we mentioned before, sharing them. So first one that goes, I get to get to take, if it goes. I uh, haven't seen much movement in terms of actual fish. I've seen one show which slung a, um, a, a rig over. Um, seen a little bit before actually, just as Wayne was putting his two out and we put them in places where fish had been moving, so you never know. Um, apparently it's been doing bites early morning, so we'll have to see what the night brings in it. Apparently catfish do feed through the night, so there's always that possibility too, but fingers crossed, we'll be coming to you throughout the night with a, with a nice big carp. Right all, night message time, and yeah, Foxy, I am watching, um, what's it called, Naked Attraction, yeah, I don't know whether it's like a bit weird or not, but yeah. I like it. Foxy likes it, of course I like it, we all like it, don't we, we all like a bit, anyway, let's not go there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I haven't really said much on this to be honest with you. I arrived pretty late. Um, looking at the water, it's been quite quite dead, really. Um, I'm holding out for a catfish if I'm totally honest. I know we love our carp, but never had a catfish. Yeah, to, to get one of those out would be awesome. Um, but yeah, as Foxy mentioned earlier, we uh, he has got first dibs if any one of the four rods goes. So fingers crossed, one of those go early doors. So then, you know, I stand a good chance of maybe getting into one. But if not, hopefully, yeah, to see a cat come out would be awesome. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll do that in the night. If not, yeah, we'll catch you in the morning. Nothing doing during the night, folks. Not for anyone. Wayne's still in bed, but I'm going to go and uh, wake Jordan up because he needs to he needs to move pegs soon. So. Got half six now, and then I think I'm gonna move the rods and get some bracky on. <laughs> morning! <laughs> Camera right in your face. Oh. First thing in the morning. Man, I don't Wicked line of last night. I, I jumped, mate. Look, I jumped out, I fell over, and I, I ran out. 
I thought I, I thought I was in. Nearly shouted you. Really? What time is that? Just after we done the video call thing. Oh That's really? Half, you know, half six. I, I got up at five o'clock. Did you? What well, out of your bag? Mm, were you, were you cold last night or? Oh sorry, I once said I've managed I managed to sort this out so it wasn't too bad. Alright. Is it alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm selling me, mate. I, I woke up loads last night, like. Did you? Tossed and turned, yeah. <coughs> Couldn't get comfy. Mm. <coughs> <laughs> He's up. Good morning. You alright? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Not bad. Looks like it's going to be a really nice day today. It does. However, it must have been a bit cold in the night. Yeah. Because it is a bit frosted over. Definitely, mate. Why does my hair look? Anyway, you're recording me. I haven't. Looks alright. I haven't looked at the bottom. Bedhead. Huh? Bedhead looks fine. Is it? Yeah. Not you sure. shaved yours off? Yeah, mate. It's gone. One, one round the sides and a two on top. Proper little slick rick. Slick Rick, I'm going for the G.I. Joe look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like an action man. See, that, I used to love him as a kid growing up. <laughs> What's the plan? Uh, um, probably go poo. Right. Because that kebab, I don't think it's done me any good. Yeah, mine's brewing. I don't know, I, I'm not really bothered about the fish, I'm just going to sunbathe. I think we're going to have to today, but then uh, we'll have to get some brekkie on after after we've released our bowls. Yeah, but then we're going to uh, we'll set up the other rod with some zigs because obviously it's warming up a bit. So let's just be prepared in case we do start seeing them in the upper layers. Yeah. Starting the move. Move it out. You alright there, George? Yeah, I'd say trips over there. <laughs> Just go in there to this peg over here. So the sun's getting up, and uh, I think we're gonna go. Certainly, two of the rods are gonna go on zigs. So this is a two foot one, then we're going to try a three foot one. See how we get on. Because they're going to be in the upper layers. So fingers crossed. <sighs> nice little PVA bag. Coming out, going to stick it next to the island. Who's the best chef in the world? Me. <laughs> You're a dickhead. <laughs> Looks good, mate. Jordan, the little princess, doesn't want to leave his bivvy to come and get his breakfast because he's scared that he's going to miss a fish taking his bait, but that is never going to happen anyway. So I'm going to walk it round to him. His breakfast. Oh, there he is. He has left his peg. I was going to bring this to you. New knickers? Put new knickers on, yeah. G string. Oh, thong. Oh, Nice one, Thank you. Sorry, I'll just turn it It was a box, mate. Box. Cheers. 
Welcome to Beer in a Session. It's a box, mate. Yeah. It's a box, isn't it? And we've got a special guest. Third member joining us. First box. On this episode of Box. On this beautiful day. Yeah, it's lovely and sunny. We haven't seen a sign of a fish at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just catching the tan at the minute, aren't we? But we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying. That's all we can do. You never know. Last time we were doing bots here. Oh, yeah, yeah. we had to take We it, got it, into it? one. So, so it could, be, just, it could we'll, be a good omen. This could be a long box. We just keep, we'll just keep it rolling until yeah. we get into one. <laughs> Today, because we've got a third member, he went and kindly bought the beers. And the beers have been chosen by Andrew Sparks suggested these. We've got Cheers, Brewdog. Andy. Brewdog Lost Lager. Brewdog. So, yeah, we're going to give 4. this a little 4.5%. 4.5%. What does that mean, Lost Lager? Oh, I like that. The Lost Forest. Lager like Here it should be. Like it plant be. trees. The Lost Forest in the Scottish Highlands is our biggest restoration plant to help create a carbon clean planet. So that's Mate, why it's called Lost in terms of In terms of like the way it's like the can looks, like obviously, or bottle, whatever the case may be, we always kind of have a little touch on that. This is one informative can. It's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. I like it. Presented quite well. The, as well. Wor- the world's first carbon negative beer, whatever that means. Well, knowing you, you'll probably go home and Google it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to. Might have to. Drink beer brewed with s- surplus fresh bread using a third less water powered by brewed dog turbines. So it's all very um, oh, earth like positive, it. isn't it? Mate, it's already got a tick from me. Yeah. Let's Sounds go. Good. Let's get in. Let's very get positive it. impact on the planet. Ooh. And the these are freezing down. cold. You're not gonna like this. Oh, I'm not. That's quite. <laughs> no, uh, you're not gonna like it. I've been bigging it up the whole way through. <laughs> it's very hoppy. I yeah, can smell yeah, it. Yeah, I can smell it. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I see what you mean. Bloody hell, Andy! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, I know. It's, it's one of those, yeah, I'm not going to like that. It's one of those ones that I'll probably just, yeah, I could probably handle half a can and I'll end up. That's, that's quite surprising, actually. What well, do you like, yeah? Considering I don't really drink much, yeah, I think it's all right to be You like that? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, it's not too bad. What do you like about it? It's all right, it's a bit smooth. Smooth? Smooth? Yeah. Do you think so? It does go down easy. Yeah, yeah it goes down. Right, but then what about that aftertaste kick at the end? That just tastes like an ashtray, doesn't it? <laughs> an ashtray. <laughs> an ashtray. <laughs> so do you like that little aftertaste kick at the end? Are you getting that as well? I know yeah, what you I, mean. I don't mind it. This is a lager that's kind of crafty, like a craft beer. So that's why it gets, gets like the hoppiness from. Come on then, what are we going? Numbers. Ooh. I'm sorry, Andy. Um, it's going to be a low one from me. Not very low, but I'm going to probably have to go... I'm probably going to have to give it a four. Let's be honest, you wouldn't order that now, no, would you? No. Nah, thanks for giving me a heads up. How about you? About six and a half. No well, half points. We don't ever do half. half. You never do half. Half. We don't do half. Huh. Get in line, all right? <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Six. 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 I'm going to go. You like hoppy. hoppy. Yeah, I'm going to go seven. I ask. You know, it's like, it's good. I'll, I'll be happy with it. Yeah, I'd, I'd order this in a pub on, on, on draft. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't neck like loads of it. I wouldn't have loads, but I would definitely have a couple of pints of it, like no problem. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. Seven. What do you go? Four. Four. Six. Six. Got that, a liner. that was another box. Yeah. So, if you uh, enjoyed, obviously seeing us, not enjoy this uh, this this beer lager. Um, Give us uh, give us a few um, suggestions of what you know what you want us to try as always, and we'll try and get it on the channel. And I must say thanks to uh, Jordan because he actually got these ones in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, cheers, Jordan. Cheers. Yeah. That was a bot. Have you got anything new for Pimp My Bivy? No. Have you? I didn't uh, even think about it. No, I haven't. 
Have you got anything? I don't think I actually do. What? I'm sure you know someone who has. Jordan. Jordan has got a whole new <laughs> <Get him waving>. <laughs> He's waving. So I'm gonna go around and we're gonna go up and take a look at Jordan's setup. Welcome to Pimp My Bivy folks. I'll with Jordan. Here. I'll stay here in the cast of rods. Yeah, you watch the rods. Cool. So you wanna be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You gotta hit us up to get a pimped out Bivy. Bivy. So, pimp my bivy with El Jordano. Welcome. Welcome to the Welcome to the crib. Cribs. Do you like to go inside? This is his new little uh, setup. So basically, all of this is brand spankers, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, basically, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, went all out to uh, get on the bank with you guys because we're ten. So we've got the Avanta so, protector. Avanta protector. That was ninety nine quid. Ninety nine quid. That's all right, isn't it, for a bivy? Not bad. Thank God I will ask to watch the videos. I'm gonna send the link to her. <laughs> I mean, free of charge. <laughs> Um, that's an old bag. So that's an old bag. An old bag. It's a rod bag. I've had that for ages. Uh, see the baby bag. Got a new bed, haven't you? Yeah. Your bed. Come on in. Yeah. Excuse the mess. Uh, new bed. Uh, can't remember how much I paid for. Top Sixty. Was it sixty? 60 for the bed because it's the old one that I had. Right, uh, and like you said, we've got the new got a sleeping bag system. Yeah, um, so, so Jordan obviously, I was advising him on what to get and stuff, and I basically said, yeah. you, won't, you won't want that strapped to the bed, so he's managed yeah. to, he's got that, so it's a prolog. Pro to one. be fair, once uh managed to get comfy last night, it was it's nice. I would recommend, yeah, it's spot on. Good. Uh, I got paid 50 quid for that. Yeah. So if you're watching, I paid tenner. Um, <laughs> All right. So that's your your bed, your bivy, your bag. Yeah. So I've got another bag. So that that bag was for Robbie Bait. Right. Um. That's that's my rod pod. We'll show you that in a second. So these are bite lines. Kindly that Foxy give me. Donated to a, a young angler that wanted to get into the sport. Yeah. So he's got me old saber ones. Old saber ones. Do the job. He's, he's a good egg. They do do the job. They're good. I like them a lot. I bought that the other day because you just do, don't you? So this is the line I'm using. I think it's important to be sure. Pick what line we're using. We're using the quarter fifteen pound touchdown. touchdown. I've caught on it, so it works. So. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's good that it works. <laughs> it works. Let's have a look at your 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 pod and your um. Yeah, I was going to say I've got all like the gas covers. Uh, wow. Oh, there's your uh, uh, cradle and sling. Cradle and sling. And the net, I actually got that from a deal from um, Wally. From Wally. Wally, Wally's fishing tackle, yeah. Yeah. So hit him up if you need anything. And this is the pod. So Rod and reels. What pod is it? Leader pod. NGT reels, aren't they? NGT reels, yeah. NGT reels, and then you've just got. The, the rods are only like. Uh, DM ones, yeah, 12 I quid, I, I, weren't I they? I paid 12 quid, yeah, three and a half pound test curve, 11 foot. So they do the job to get you started, weren't they? Yeah, I caught on them both, so yeah, <laughs> again, the work <laughs> good stuff, isn't it? Uh, yeah, like I say, it's it's been it's well worth getting, so worth it, well worth to be pimped up, yeah, because and how much have you spent in total? About 500 quid. Oh, for, do you know what? For anyone that's looking to get into carp fishing and, and specimen fishing, night fishing, that is probably, you're going to have to shell out roughly that. Maybe but, a little bit under if you manage to get like stuff second hand or whatever. Yeah, like I said, the, the net and also that's from Wally. Yeah. Um, to be fair, Wally sorted me right out. Yeah, he, he got. He gave you the net, the... The net, the cradle and the sling. For 50 quid ones, isn't it? Might have even been a bit less, I think. So... 
So yeah, but all in all, for, for like five hundred, and obviously you've done it over a period of time. Yeah, you've just done it in a one. It was, it was once. It was just before Christmas, I think I started. Yeah. Or just after Christmas, I think. Yeah. And here we are today, having a picnic. Blanking your tits off. Picnic. Yeah. Picnic time. We're having a picnic. Um, well, good haul, mate. Nice yeah. to have you on the bank with us. I know. Yeah, it's good to be. Uh, it's good to be on the bank with us now. Do another night and plenty more to come. Yeah. Hopefully, um. We can get into one before the end of the session. Fingers crossed. Bit of an update for you. It's half two. It's absolutely roasting outside of the bivvy. Wayne's sleeping. Jordan's sunbathing. The fish aren't biting. So I think it's going to have to be... We're going to have to hope for a, a bite later on when it cools down a little bit. I think I look a bit sunburnt as well, to be fair. But yeah, nothing doing at the minute. Fingers crossed we can uh, get into one when it cools down a little bit. And Jordan is in. And I'm running round. He's in. Can you feel it? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yes. Go on, Jordan. Go on, sunshine. Out as well. Did you? Yeah. Thank you out that way, there. Where's the net? To the left of you. Keep that line tight, George. Son. Did he? Did he? Get in. Well done, mate. Go on. Fourteen. PB. Fourteen and a quarter. Damn. PB. Get me wet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's. Um, do you want to get a. Let, I was going to say, let's. Do you want to put it in the water? In for a little bit, yeah. 14 4, new PB. Get in there. <laughs> I I'm wanted to do that. Sorry, mate. Go on, mate. You can do it as well. <laughs> I'm absolutely over the moon. My God. Let me get Go on. Yeah. And there she goes. Damn, I can't believe it. Get in, mate. I can't believe it. Well, it I can't man. believe it. Get in. What do you want to say? I just thought we'd congratulate Jordan. Smashed it out of the park. Absolutely smashed it. Yeah. And we haven't done a little bit to the camera because we've just been filming something else. So I just thought we'd have a quick update. Yeah, no, do you know what? We're absolutely buzzing for him over the moon. We actually said last night if, you know, one of us, just, of just one of us out of the three to catch, we'd want it to be Jordan. Yeah. Number one, obviously, it's going to be a bit easier for him to break his PB because initially it was what? 10. 10 pounds. So, you know. So he's broke it by four pound, four ounces. So, yeah, cracking. So, yeah, I mean nice beautiful day let's hope foxy can get into one next tonight and then that leaves time for me in the morning yeah that would be perfect how great we've seen would a that show be? over there so we put one over it yeah and um we've changed all the bags up so hopefully you know we can get into one next up i'm going to do the washing and then we're going to cook some lovely italiano oh we've we got meatballs and meatballs pasta? and pasta and garlic bread oh god amazing lovely well done jordan well done mate love you Bye.
And look who's doing the washing up. Finally. Finally. I'm a domestic goddess. Now you are. You've, right. never, you've never done the washing up on the bank before, have you? No, I haven't. Is before. this the first time for you? There's a first for everything. <laughs> Let me inspect it because I have high standards. Mate, why, is he, why have you left the soap on there? I'm going to rinse it off. You better. I'm going to. Don't don't you worry about that, lovey. Yeah, a little bit of grease, alright? Night message. Oh, yeah. We're doing a, a triple joint night message. Triple threat. Yeah. Triple H. Oh, time to play the game. <laughs> even though it doesn't even look that dark. It doesn't look that dark, no. no. What time are we on? What is the time? Nearly nine. This is hard, you know. So we're all looking a little bit sunburned. Probably. Yeah, very sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne been, looks like the beetroot man. It's been a scorcher. <laughs> yeah. Jordan's absolutely buzzing, of course. Yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't he be? Tell us about how your day's been, mate. It's been banging, hasn't it? Brought a PB. Pulled a hamstring because of a duck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a good day. Um, we got the fish that we wanted to get. Hopefully, we we'll get a few more yet. Yeah, fingers crossed. Well, at least one, anyway. But at least one more would be nice, but yeah. I mean, two would just absolutely make the session just. Yeah, yeah ridiculous. we've seen a few shows now though. We're taking the overdrive, wouldn't it? Yeah, we have to be fair. We've seen um, a few shows now. But yeah, uh, hopefully we'll see you in the night, but I think we're all ready to get tucked up, aren't we? Yeah, I think, I think yeah. we're all a bit sunstroke, aren't we? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> we're all ready to get tucked up, get warm, warmed up in the bivvy, get a cup of tea down us and get our heads down. Yeah, for so the pack up in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we've got an early one. We've got to be off at nine thirty. So hopefully we can get into one, you know, later on tonight, or you know, in the night, or yeah. even early tomorrow morning. There's still time to get one out. Definitely, so, well, they have said. I mean, the, the, the night bites and early mornings. Well, the cats certainly wake up at night, so we'll maybe see one of them. But yeah, let's I've just see what the night brings, boys. Oh, mate, bring bring a cat. Cat. Get a cat. Get a cat. Night. 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 How carpy is this? Using the uh, bait buckets to prop my tablet up. Letterbox style door. So I can be straight out. Sliders, Wayne crying at Arsenal, kettle boiling. Up the carp, come on. Nothing during the night. Well, just after midnight, a few beeps and a drop back, which actually made me get out my bivvy and have a look at it. I thought it didn't keep going, so I just left it. And I keep getting a few liners on that one during it throughout the night, but apart from that, that's that's it. I don't think any any beeps have been had on, on Wayne's rods either. It's like seven now, so two and a half hours, so I'm going to have to get up and start the pack down soon. And just hope that in the last couple of hours, something takes the bait, we'll probably just leave the rods in. But if not, at least Jordan's managed to get on. That's all that really matters. Morning. <laughs> morning. Right, so I um, <laughs> thought I'd do my morning message with um, Jordan because Foxy was a lone ranger this morning. <laughs> and he's just decided to make loads of noise. Um, yeah, so nothing happened in the night. Well, a few beeps. A few beeps, but yeah, the fella next to us, I think, or opposite, had a massive scream. 
Yeah, I jumped up out of my bed thinking it was me. And I was about to shout, fish on, fish on, to Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> so he could go and take it. But it wasn't us. You know what, though? You know what's weird? He was right next to me. And I did not hear a thing. Did you not? <laughs> I was conked out last night. You know? Yeah, so, um, I mean, unfortunately, it would have been nice for Foxy to get into one before we go at least. But Jordan has, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah. Last night, I watched Arsenal lose, Burn Leno. What a bell end. <laughs> what a bee! Um, yeah, so not yeah, really much to report through the night. I'm going to start getting packed up. Yeah. Because we've got to be off the pegs for half past nine, is it? Yeah, half nine, yeah. And then I think the other people who are on the peg can come in and fish at ten o'clock. Right. But yeah, we have to be off by half nine. So we'll start packing down slowly and uh, yeah, hope for a, hope for a little run Just whilst we're packing down. Hopefully it's Foxy. Hope, well, yeah. Hopefully, it's Hopefully it is Foxy because Jordan don't need to be greedy. Yeah. I'll be greedy next time. And if we are being even more greedy. Yeah, but we're going to get a double take. We'll have a double take. Yeah. And, uh, so I can have one as well. One, yeah. But yeah, no, until next time. Yeah. Peace. So, not the best session for myself and Wayne, but fair play to Jordan. He absolutely pulled one out the bag. Yeah, fair play, Jordan. Well done on your PB. We're over the moon for you. Join us next time for another instalment of PB Busters. We're going to be heading back to Waynestones and we're going to be fishing Mark Pitcher's new wood pool. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the alarm bell so you get those notifications when we put out new content. Thanks.